For large installations, the walkthrough detectors should be organized into one or more clusters. Each cluster will consist of one leader and multiple followers. It is recommended that a follower unit be placed within 50 feet of its leader unit. Checkpoints spanning greater distances may require multiple clusters. Use frequency offsets and a minimum distance of 10 feet between clusters to ensure proper operation. To set up your MZ as the leader unit, there are three menu items to modify. Multi-unit role, frequency, and channel. Begin with all units off. Switch on the center unit and log in with admin access using access 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Use the menu down button to find the multi-unit role menu. Use the plus or minus buttons to modify the menu to select leader. Next, we'll modify the frequency. There are two ways to change a frequency on the MZ. One way is to use the auto frequency scan. Use the menu down button to find auto frequency scan. The auto frequency scan allows the MZ to search for the best frequency that has the least amount of interference with other units. Use the plus sign to start the frequency scan. This may take as long as 30 seconds to a minute to find the best available frequency. As you can see in this example, the frequency has been set to 2295. This frequency will be used for all other follower units in the cluster, so be sure to write it down. If you forget to write it down, you can use the menu down button to find frequency. There you'll find the value that the auto frequency scan set for the MZ unit. Another way to alter the frequency is from the frequency menu. Use the plus or minus buttons to modify the frequency by one digit. Use the counter and volume button to modify the frequency by 10. The next step is to set the channel for the MZ unit. Press the menu down button to change the channel. Use the plus or minus buttons to change the MZ unit leader to channel 1. Note that the leader does not have to be channel 1 for MZ units as long as adjacent units are in subsequential order. If using an MZ unit with a PDI, Garrett recommends using channels 1 and channels 2. If using an MZ unit with other MZ units, the MZ has the ability to change to multiple channels, including 1, 2, 3, and 4. For leader units, we recommend setting to channel 1. This will complete the process of setting this unit up as the leader. To verify the settings, push the operate button to exit admin mode. Push the operate button again to review the items that you've chosen.